Hey guys, welcome to day 4 of my countdown to Halloween. Today's video is all about Jared Leto's Joker. And you might recognize this from my Evolution of Joker makeup video. I'm going to be releasing tutorials for all four of the Joker makeups that I did for that video. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. The first step I took was to spray my hair with a neon green hairspray. I did this before the makeup so I wouldn't ruin it with a green overspray. And it took almost a whole bottle to get the color I wanted, so keep that in mind when you're shopping for supplies. I slicked back my green hair and used bobby pins to secure it in place. And then with a baby wipe, I cleaned off any excess green hairspray on my skin. I'm pretty sure Jared Leto shaped his brows for this role, but I'm not quite that committed. Instead, I covered my eyebrows using Prozade. You could also use a glue stick or spirit gum and mortician's wax to do this. After powdering the brows, I used the orange concealer from NYX's Color Correcting Palette. The orange is going to help cancel out the dark tones of the eyebrows. Jared is very pale in this movie. His skin tone is not stark white, unlike a lot of the previous Jokers. So I applied Urban Decay's Naked Skin Foundation with a damp beauty blender. Then I applied generous coats of Powder of the Baby. On top of the foundation, I sprayed a light coat of European Body Arts Endura Color in white. You could also use a white cream makeup applied with a sponge as well. But I chose the Endura Color because I like the longevity that those paints give me. Moving right along to the eye makeup, I chose a brownish red matte eyeshadow to contour my eyes to appear more like Jared's. He has a very rounded eye crease, which I emulated by applying the shadow in a similar shape. Any warm matte brown eyeshadow should do the trick for you. I applied that eyeshadow underneath my eyes using a bullet brush. I lined the bottom lid and emphasized my dark circles with it. And to contour the nose, I used that same shade of eyeshadow and a fluffy brush. At this stage, you can also contour the rest of your face. I did choose to lightly contour, but you can always amp it up more for your Halloween costume. Next, I applied a thin line of black eyeliner to the upper and lower lids. And for this, I used Make It Forever's Aqua XL Pencil in M10. For the J on the Joker's cheek, I sketched it on first using a black eyeshadow and a detail brush. If you're applying these tattoos on yourself, you'll have to sketch them in backwards in the mirror. I highly suggest getting an artistic friend to help you out with this. Believe me, it will save you a lot of time. Once the details were sketched in, I applied a thin down black face paint to make them appear more crisp. I gotta say, the damaged tattoo on the forehead was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in a tutorial. It took me a good five times to get the way I wanted. It was difficult because you had to sketch it in backwards in the mirror, which made it almost impossible for my brain to comprehend. But what I learned while messing up was to start with the middle letters first. So I sketched in the G and the A, and then I sketched in the rest of the letters, making sure to space them as best as I could. To finish out the face, I used a red lipstick, and the red used on Jared is a nice, dark, and rich red. So I applied Makeup Forever's Artist Rouge Lipstick in M500. For the tattoos on the chest, I used the same methods. I sketched in the general forms using a black eyeshadow, then deepened the outlines using a black face paint. I only drew in the jester and the hahas because I knew my shirt would cover everything else. If you want to see a more detailed explanation of the tattoos, I suggest watching Meiji Look's Joker tutorial. Lex did an excellent job covering those and I'll link it below. The costume was pretty easy. I picked up a purple shirt from a thrift store and purple suspenders off of Amazon. The teeth I found on Amazon as well, and I'll link to them below. You could also use a mouth safe tooth enamel as well, but please don't use anything in your mouth that is not mouth safe. I've been seeing a lot of tutorials of people using things that kind of frighten me, and I just want you to remember that your safety is way more important than a costume. So please don't use spray paint or any kind of glues in your mouth. And that, my heathens, is going to wrap up this makeup tutorial for Jared Leto's Joker in Suicide Squad. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Next week, I'll be releasing Heath Ledger's Joker. In the meantime, check out the Harley Quinn Halloween throwback and also check out yesterday's Halloween video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.